We recently connected with the Minnesota Department of Commerce to find out the latest scams at financial institutions. So the first instance uh, of things that have happened recently or been reported to the Department of Commerce are fake checks or bogus checks that victims are dep depositing into their account. And, and I've seen this matter of these over the years, but in the last couple months, I've had several cases. These are often part of a lottery inheritance or romance scam. And the victim's told to deposit the check and send the funds or taxes, send the funds for taxes, fees, or to help their romantic the person there and, you know, involved in a romantic interest. Sometimes it's a legitimate business's name, account, and routing number on the check, but it's a counterfeit check. Other instances that we've had reported to us at Commerce involve a legitimate business's account and routing number, but the scammers have made up fake checks with the victim's name on it. So it'll have the victim's name and address, but everything else is, is the legit, you know, for the legitimate business that had the check. And so it'll have the legitimate business's routing number and account number on it. And that way, when in either of these instances, I've, ho I've had victims told to go ahead and verify the funds at the bank that uh, issued the check or, or, you know, where the account was being held. And the banks do, they verify the funds that are in that check, but of course they don't verify that it's a check that's legitimate because it's a counterfeit check. And so the scammers go ahead or the scammers tell the victim to go ahead and deposit it. And oftentimes they'll tell the victims, almost every time I think they say, don't walk into the bank to deposit the check. What you want to do is you want to do a remote or electronic deposit or else deposit it through the ATM. And that way, I suspect, is because they don't want anybody, the scammers don't want anybody at the counter questioning what the check is about. In in you know, in in that way, the check will go through the account. Sometimes the check's clear. I've had a couple times when the check's cleared. And then the victim is instructed to take the money, like I said, and pay fees on, or, or expenses on their lottery winnings or to help out their romantic interest, whatever the case might be. And people have been, I, I have one instance alone where it's over $40,000 that the person lost and they're on the hook for it. And some of the checks that, that I've had in the last month actually were fake investment checks. So it looked like it was coming out of the customer's investment account. Customer was told to tell the bank it came out of the, their investment account, but it wasn't. It was all a, a made up check. And again, those those checks cleared and, and the customer was left holding the bag when the check bounced. 